I don't know about you, but as face coverings have started to become a normal part of life, I've been struggling to find one that fits and stays on. This slides off my nose. This is baggy around the ears. So could a personalized 3D printed one like this be the solution? Part of the COVID, we've seen uh, a few companies uh, coming up with 3D printing solutions. But uh, one common problem we find is that uh, these masks are not customized, so they are universal uh, size and shape. Not these, though. This Imperial College London research project repurposes custom-fit 3D printed masks, a concept they were originally working on for people suffering with sleep apnea. Now they hope to create perfect fitting respirators at a time when it seems we could be wearing them a lot. And all you need to get started is a smartphone. First thing I need to do is scan my face. There are a couple of iOS apps that seem to work to do this. The first up is called Scandi Pro. I'm going to have to hold very still. Although it was a little fiddly to get the image right, I'm told that this app is especially accurate. There's also Bellus 3D, which I thought was simpler to use. And Virtual Me did look pretty realistic. I guess I'll just find out how the mask fits when it actually arrives. Currently, you do need an iPhone 10 or above to carry out this process. But alternatives are being looked into, including some for Android users. Job done. You then upload your scan to the Mensura Mask website. Specially created code is used to extract the necessary data. And that is sent to Autodesk's Fusion 360 platform to tweak and rebuild the model to fit your face. This should provide you with a free file of your mask to print now, assuming you don't have a 3D printer in your living room, there are plenty of companies out there that can print it for you at the cost of a round of fiver. But whilst we might all like a better fitting mask that doesn't steam up our glasses, the real aim of this project is a much bigger picture. So right now, the masks that you can, you can wear, they're just as good as a face covering, if not better. Um, but we, as we get better, as we get the technology more mature, we will go through that certification process to check that the materials are safe, to check that the filters work properly. Of course, the outcome of each individual mask will not just depend on an accurate scan, but also the quality of the 3D printing. So, the mask has arrived. Can we have the grand unveiling? Wow, that's very space age actually. How does it feel? And how does it fit? It definitely fits well. I can feel it's absolutely moulded to my face and I think any glasses would be okay, no steaming up. But um, rather bizarrely, my ears keep popping. Well, I mean, I can tell it's really airtight because your voice hardly makes it out of the mask. Can you breathe? I mean, that's, that's a filter in the end, isn't it? It is, and actually these filters would need changing every day, but they're just standard ones that you can buy online and the whole mask can be fully disinfected. Is it comfortable at all? Well, it certainly fits just right and the edges do feel quite soft. So I think if I worked at a job where I had to wear this all day, then I can see the benefit. But it does feel a little bit over the top to just go and buy some groceries. <laughs>